This guy comes up to me after a gig, after one of the gigs on the cruise ships, right, and he goes, I want to tell you what happened today. He's a 50-year-old guy waiting for the spa to empty out, right, so he can have it to himself. He finally gets it to himself, chilling out, 50-year-old dude, two little girls rock up, one six, one seven years old. Can we jump in the spa, mister? And he goes, yeah, yeah, come on in, jump in. So they're sitting there chatting away 10 minutes, right, and one of them leans over and goes, do you know sometimes people pee in here? <laughs> he goes, they don't, do they? And she goes, yeah, we do it all the time. <laughs> The other one's gone, I'm doing one right now. <laughs> I said, what'd you do, mate? He goes, I did the only thing you could do. Took a shit and got out. Hi, it's Nikki from the Online Comedy Show. I'm here with Mark McConville. How are you, Mark? Fantastic, Nikki. Thanks That's for having good. me along. Oh, look, it's so good to have the headliner here today. Um, thank you so much for joining our stage. And I want to ask you, tell us about flying. Well, you know, as a comedian, we fly a fair bit. And, uh, you know, we like to check out stuff so, uh, and have a bit of fun. Yeah. And I've actually stopped a plane from taking off with a whoopee cushion. How? Because, well, everyone goes on about, you know, not allowed to take knives or anything. Well, you can... You know, you can choose where you want to sit now, right, okay? And everyone loves whoopee cushions, right, okay? Good fart sound, doesn't, you know, I'll be, uh. I'll be 90 and one of those will still make me laugh. So, flying to Melbourne, had my whoopee cushion, tucked it into my jacket, got a seat second row from the front and waited till they started the safety speech. Oh. And then I let fly. Oxygen masks, what? <laughs> Emergency exits, what? And the hostess cracked it, stopped, the, got on the thing to the captain, because I'm creating a kerfuffle because everyone's laughing, right, okay? Gets, comes up to me halfway and goes, Sir, we take safety very seriously. It's your safety we're concerned about, so please <laughs> hand over the whoopee cushion, right? And anyway, so I gave it to her. Well, I didn't give it to her. I gave her the whoopee cushion. And when we landed in Melbourne, I asked for it back, and she said, no, it's been confiscated. The worst animal at sex has got to be the male black widow spider, right? Now, how's this guy? He is such a dub that when he's finished, the female goes, that was good, you want And now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Now, fellas, imagine working under that pressure. Go in for a root, dead. You'd be putting a big effort. Don't you reckon? Eight arms? Fuck yes. Hey, if that was me, I'd be rocking in there with cream, baby powder, massage oil, and the vibrator, and stuff. I'd fucking do shit up! <laughs> Over that, the next day, she was in hospital, and the papers read, Mark Lake Widow, too good, female couldn't eat. That was me! Fuck you! <laughs> But think about this, he's a virgin when he goes in there, because if he'd had sex before, he'd be dead. Yeah. So all the male black widow spiders on the planet, they're all sitting around having the same conversation. They're all sitting around going, I don't actually know anyone that's had a root. <laughs> I mean, Gary and Adelaide the other night, fuck, I haven't seen him since, dude. <laughs> on a serious note, tell us about what you're doing right now. Talking to you. Obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, come on. What's the project you're working on? Okay. Um, I have a startup company called Comedy Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, our goal is to create a formal link between the comedy industry and mental health to reduce societal stress, depression, and suicides through laughter. My goal is to link the comedy industry with mental health to help reduce stress, depression, and suicide through laughter. Right? Because do you feel good? Right? Do you feel good after having laughed all night? Yeah, it's fucking good for you, folks. Right? Okay. It's just about sharing laughter with friends, family, workmates. If you know someone that you think is going through a hard time, a relationship breakup, work, whatever, you know, take them to a comedy club. Take, you know, go over there with some comedy DVDs. And escape. 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 You know, yep. like for an hour. Yep. Because That's sometimes right. people forget to laugh and it's, right. it's very powerful. That's exactly right. And we hope we're doing this for this show right now as well. You guys are doing online. a fantastic thing. Thank Kudos you. Kudos to you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for gracing our stage here on the Online Comedy Show, Mark. My absolute we pleasure. We hope to see you back again with us soon. We will. We'll be doing lots Let's of cheese. stuff. Let's cheers. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, ching ching. You with your wine. See you next week. Me with my half a litre of Coke. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. See you guys. <laughs>